Kia ora. Here's another question from the AS paper in June 2018, and this is paper 11, question 5. So this is completely different from the trig one. This is coordinate geometry. And we've got a very nice diagram that shows us a kite, and the kite has got these points. So the first point is O and then A, B, C, and A, C is the line of symmetry. The coordinates of A and C are 0, 4 and 8, 0 respectively, and O is the origin. Now the fact that it's a kite is actually important for this question, and I'm just going to rule this out and make it a bit more obvious what's going on, because I think if you do this, you'll spot the key to the second part of it faster. Oop, something weird just happened there. Hang on. I guess I could have chosen a different colour pen, but there you go. Right, so there we are. There we've got a kite there. The first thing we've got to do is find the equations of AC and OB, so the two diagonals of the kite. And then we have to find, by calculation, the coordinates of B. There are a bunch of different ways to do this. I'm just going to do this how I saw it, which I, I think is the most obvious way. Right, so let's start off by looking at the equation of AC. AC is, is about as easy as you get in terms of finding equations. We've got two points, and we know that the equation will have the form y equals mx plus c, and we know the intercept is 4. So y is equal to something x plus 4. m is equal to rise over run. Um, so the change in y, and you can go in either direction here, uh, I'm going to do a minus c, so 4 minus 0 over 0 minus 8 which gives me negative one half, right, which is pretty obvious just, just from looking, right, I'm going, I don't even know why I did it with that much detail, I've gone out eight and I've gone down four. So in here, my equation of AC is negative one half x plus four. All right, so that's the first, that's probably a mark or two, I can't remember. Then the next one is to find the equation of OB. Now we don't have the coordinates of OB. But let's just look at what it means for something to be a kite. Well, a kite has got, let's draw another kite up here. So this is a badly drawn kite. Hopefully this will still work. Oh, that didn't work. Let's turn off ink to shape. Sorry guys, please don't hang up the video. Right, here we go. Here's my kite drawn with no ruler. And it's done it again. The point I'm trying to make is that when we've got a kite and we have the two diagonals, we need to look at these because it's the property of these diagonals that let us solve this problem. So there's my second diagonal, and the diagonals in a kite are at right angles to each other. And that's the clue to finding the equation of OB because we know that perpendicular gradients multiply to negative 1. That means that the gradient of OB must be equal to 2, right? since OB is perpendicular to AC, and M1, M2 equals negative 1 if lines are at right angles, right? So some kind of reasoning like this is worth including. The next thing we know is that we don't know the coordinates of point B, because it's coming up in here, but we know that the origin is on that line. So that means that Y is equal to 2X is the equation for that second one. Okay, so now we need to find the coordinates of B. Let's get rid of some of this mess. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and I'll get rid of that. Let's have a think about how we're going to do it. This point here is the midpoint of the line segment O and B. And we can figure out what that is. But actually, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm not going to use the midpoint quite yet. What I'm going to use is that we can work out the intersection of those two equations. And then I can use the fact that this is the midpoint. So the intersection is where we've got 2x is equal to negative 1 half x plus 4. That gives me 5 over 2x equals 4 x is equal to 8 over 5, or 1.6. And y must be twice that, so y is equal to 3.2. Now that means that we've got the coordinates of this point here. And so we can use some pretty basic reasoning to find the coordinates of b. This point here, we've gone out 1.6 and we've gone up 3.2. 
So if we do that again, we're going to get to here. So drawing that out with a little bit more reasoning. This is 0, 0. This is 1.6, 3.2. Draw this out and then this. And then I can do the same thing again. Draw this out and then this. So my point up here is going to be 3.2 and 6.4. Okay, so key ideas in this question are that when you're doing coordinate geometry questions for AS, you will need to use some of the features of different shapes, like you might be working with a parallelogram or a rhombus. And the more old papers you do, the more confident you'll get with how those all work together, right? But in this case, the key idea we had was that the diagonals of a kite are perpendicular to each other. You will almost always need to use the fact that perpendicular gradients multiply to negative one, and you'll often have to use the midpoint formula um, or find the midpoint and distance between two points. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, that's all for tonight. I will do a couple more questions tomorrow.